beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so happy to see you today. I hope that you are doing well and I hope you and your loved ones are taking care of the best that you can. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. I'm pretty excited that you have decided to join me today because I have some pretty cool stuff to share with you guys today. Um, I, I have a book that I'm going to be featuring in this episode or this... Um, yeah, we'll just call it an episode, this episode on Nova Gnome Creations. Uh, <laughs> and I have several things that I have made from this book, and I thought it'd be fun to do just a little um, book feature, I guess. I have shown this book on my channel before, but before we hop into it, I want to welcome you. If you are a new Nomi, aka someone who's watching this video, but you've never been here before, I wanted to welcome you to our cozy little corner of YouTube. I hope that you find it to be the comfiest, coziest little corner that you sit down, pull up a seat, grab a project, and hang out for a little while. I hope you guys have something to drink. I have some iced coffee. And if you are not new here, welcome back, my Nomi. I hope you are doing awesome, and I am so happy to see you today. All right, guys, so what book are we going to be looking at today? Well, I've actually done a book look on this book before. It is The Crochet Creatures of Myth and Legend by Megan Lapp, who is the creator of Crafty Intentions. So this book is awesome. And I wanted to make something out of it, so uh, I, I was just really feeling it, you know? And so I thought I would make one thing out of it. But I made one thing out of it, and then I was still really feeling it, so I made another thing out of it. And I've already made something out of it before. So I have three things to show you guys from this book today. I will link the book look for this book in the description box in case you're interested in seeing what's in this book. Um, I did do a pretty thorough book look where I kind of showed you guys what you could expect from it. Uh, gave you guys my first impressions of the book along with my kind of thoughts. Whoop, my kind of thoughts. Um from doing one pattern out of it and everything. And I still uh, stand by all those opinions that I already had now that I've done three patterns out of it. Um, but I will link that down below. And by the way, uh, Megan Lapp actually commented on that video and loved it. So that was pretty exciting. I was uh, not going to lie. I was really geeked out about that. Um, so anyways, let's just hop right into it. I have a couple of pages marked and those are the patterns that I did. So we will just go in order. So here is the gorgeous cover of this book. Like I said, not gonna do a book look today because I've already done one on it, but I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I have done today. All right, so perfect. We're starting with the one that I have already shown you guys before. Uh, I have made the little dragon that is in this book. So here's what it looks like in her uh, picture. And let me read you guys the cute little um, thing. There's like little, like a little paragraph that goes along with each one. And I find it so cute. The dragon is a giant winged fire breathing reptile with scales and a barbed tail. Many variations on this theme exist. And in different traditions, dragons may be malevolent or benevolent. All right. So that is the little paragraph that goes along with this one. And... Let me give him a little primping before I fold him up. Here is my little dragon that I made. And I love him so much. I think he is the cutest thing ever. The cutest thing since sliced bread, as they say. Or no, wait. That's the best thing since sliced bread. I guess sliced bread's not really all that cute. <laughs> Okay, so I used um, worsted weight yarn for this. I actually used um, Big Twist Living yarn. Um, this is one of their pride colorways. I believe it is Serenity. And then I used uh, Caron Simply Soft, or Caron, uh, yeah, it was still Simply Soft Party, which is their sparkle color and in, in this purple. So I am still super, super proud of this one. I used sparkly purple eyes. And here's a little 360 for you guys. Do, 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 do. So stinking cute. I love the wings. 
I think the wings are just the coolest thing ever. So here is one of the patterns from this book. And I love it. All right. So that was a worsted weight yarn, by the way. I can't remember if I said that. Um, and then my second one to show you guys on this feature is, let's see, Phoenix. Okay. So I made this Phoenix. I made my own spin on it. Um, I did it in a very different colorway um, than a traditional Phoenix. And I actually also just slightly modified the pattern. But this was a very, very good um, base pattern for a bird, just in general. So if you're ever looking for a really cool bird pattern, I would totally recommend that one. Um, let me read you the little paragraph that goes along with this one. The phoenix is a majestic bird that lives for a thousand years in paradise, then leaves to go to the mortal world where it sings a mournful song that makes the sun god stop and a spark of the sun fall from the sky to burn the creature up. The phoenix is then reborn in three days from its own ashes and returns to paradise for another thousand years. So I love the phoenix. I love the concept of the phoenix. If you guys ever watch Harry Potter, then you have at least one run in with a phoenix. If you remember Fox, the phoenix um, and how his tears are healing. They have a healing property to them. And uh, you might remember the scene where Fox catches fire and burns up. And from the ashes, the little baby uh, Fox is born, is reborn. Very cool scene. Um, so here is my kind of Phoenix, a very different kind of take on it. So I've got his head is um, at like a little bit of a, a cockeyed angle and I think it works so well for it. Kind of gives it like um, a curious baby bird sort of effect. So here is kind of a little um, side view. It's got this big, beautiful tail that when it's sitting, it sits out behind it. Here's the back. And then back around to the front. So um, once again, I used worsted weight yarn for this. I actually used um, the Big Twist Living yarn again in a different pride colorway. I do not remember the name of this one off top of my head, but it is the pink, blue, and white version. And I actually used Caron Simply Soft Party again and used it for the sparkly silver color. It is a sparkly... Um, like the color is silver, but then the metallic strands, let me pull you guys in real close here, are actually rainbow. So I thought that was so perfect. And while I have you guys up close, I'll just show you some of the details. I used um, these pink eyes that have kind of like the sparkly metallic flakes in them that came from that mystery box, that eye mystery box that was gifted to me. Um, you guys may have remembered me doing a little unboxing. So I got this set of eyes in there and I thought it would be perfect for this. Um, and then I did do a little bit of like around the eyes. I did kind of an eyelid sort of thing. That is my first time doing that. And I think it really works for this. I think it, I think it was just a little touch it needed um, for me using these really big eyes on here. Um, and then the thing that I kind of modified a little bit is the wings. Um, I took this part and extended and added this section right here. Um, so yeah, I just went back and forth a few times. I did like some front loop onlys and seagull crochets and slip stitches and all this stuff. And I made it really like sturdy on both sides so that the wings stay up. And then I also sewed right down here, the bottom of the wings to the body. So I like the way that the wings stay up with that. And I sewed my body parts on really tightly. So you'll notice that the legs and stuff are very tightly attached. Like, let me show you the difference between my dragon and my phoenix. So you'll notice in my dragon, I did like really chunky kind of limbs um, because I did not sew them on super tight. Um, so for my Phoenix, I sewed them on super tight and it gave it like a more drawn in, um, I don't know, like condensed sort of effect. And I think it works really well for a bird. 
So I am super, super in love with this. This is actually going to be a gift for my little brother for Christmas. Um, this was a yarn that I specifically bought with the intention of making him something, um, but I wasn't sure what I was going to make. And then I thought that the Phoenix was perfect. The concept of being reborn, um, you know, burning up. And I, I just feel like it's such a relatable thing for so many of us burning up with, you know, maybe the traumas or life experiences we've had. There's so many ways that that can be relatable and being reborn from those ashes, you know, recreating ourselves or growing as a person or, um, you know, maybe a new chapter in our lives where we feel like a different person being our authentic selves, um, versus who we were expected to be by society. It's just such a relatable, um, concept for a um mythical creature i guess the story of it is such a relatable thing for so many people um so i'm sure that a lot of you can relate to that story in some way like it can fit your life in some way i thought it was a really nice fitting thing and like i said i wanted to do something cool i was thinking an amigurumi already and i was like ah oh, something from this crochet creatures of myth and legends book this was perfect. So obviously, like I said, I did change up things about this and the colors being changed do make it um, not your traditional Phoenix by any stretch of the imagination. You know, traditionally your Phoenix is going to be red and orange kind of fire colors. So this is a very different take on it, but I am really, really happy with it. I think it's uh, pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. I'm really proud of this one, you guys. I think it came out so good. So that is my second make from this book. And let me set that one aside. Now for this third one, I did a couple things a little bit different. Um, okay, so you guys know, I believe, I believe I mentioned that I was making an alicorn. Where did I mention that? I know I mentioned it on Mantha's Make Sam, her live, um, and that might have been the only place. I might have mentioned it in a video. I can't remember. My brain. It's just not working that great. So I think I mentioned this somewhere. I was making an alicorn, which is a unicorn, but with some Pegasus features. So um, a Pegasus doesn't have a unicorn horn but they have wings. And then a unicorn doesn't have wings, but it has a horn. So I was originally started out making an alicorn, but as I got further into it, I actually decided to just go unicorn for this one instead of alicorn. So in the future, I'll make an alicorn. So here is the page for the unicorn. So here is what her unicorn looks like. Very cute. And I will read you the little paragraph for our unicorn. The unicorn is a legendary creature depicted in ancient art from many cultures. It is a beast, often a horse or a goat-like animal, with a single large pointed spiraling horn on its forehead, which is said to have healing powers. And I will say, guys, by the way, I know that I said I wasn't doing a book look. I did already do a book look. But I just do want to point out that she has the size info really detailed if you do it in worsted weight yarn um and all of the materials you need right here on this front page so whenever you're looking at these it's really easy to see if this is going to be what you're looking for and i do believe that worsted weight yarn is the is the assumption for all of these but anyway about it, that is going to be the last one I show you. And I did do something a little bit different. Speaking of worsted weight yarn, I actually used chunky yarn for this one. So here is my chunky little unicorn. So I used um, chunky, uh, you know, like a bulky five yarn for this. Um, I used this hand dyed yarn that my hubby had gotten me that I've been kind of hoarding um, for something special. I used it for the hooves. Um, I believe that that's all I used it for. So I didn't use very much of it at all, which means I can still do more special things with it. 
I used Hobby Lobby's uh, Lots of Dots, um, Yarn Bee's Lots of Dots, which is like, um, it's like a baby yarn kind of, like a chunky baby yarn. Um, and it comes in like lots of um, kind of rainbowy pastel-y sort of colors. This one was a very muted pastel and I thought it was perfect for what would be the white of the unicorn typically. Um, and then I used for my hair, Sugar Wheel Sparkle in the colorway of Light Show. So for these beautiful curls, I absolutely love, I used that colorway. All right, so let's get you guys a close up. So the other thing that I did a little bit differently for this one was I added jewelry. I thought it would be so fun to add jewelry. So um, I used what is actually a thumb ring for uh, a bracelet. And obviously these are like, you know, kind of bigger ones because I've got some chunky fingers. So that's a thumb ring for me <laughs> and I'm using it as a bracelet. Um, I'm using a bracelet as a necklace um, and I kind of have it tied off in the back if you can't see, um, which is the point that you don't see. I thought it would make a cute little pearl necklace. And then to match her cute little pearl necklace, we've got some little butterfly earrings that have pearls as well as some sparkly gems. And then on this ear, I've got a little sparkly gem, um, kind of cartilage piercing and a little pearl. And then on this ear, I have two different sizes of like gem uh, cartilage piercings. Um, there is her horn. Um, that's another thing I modified slightly. Um, the horn was only supposed to be about from here to here tall, but um, because of using chunky yarn and stuff, I think that my uh, ratio just needed to be changed up a little bit. I think that would have been a very short horn for my unicorn if it was only this long. So I did make my unicorn long horn longer. Um, and that was uh, very easy to do. I just added a few more rounds, did a couple of increases um, while I was doing those. And I think it turned out awesome. Um, and then I used some other eyes from that little um, surprise like kit of eyes what was it called? Mystery bag, mystery box. <laughs> um, and they are these blue and pink ones. And I thought they were so cute. So here's kind of a little close up. We've got sparkles and metallic strands running throughout the horn and the hair. We've got pastel cuteness. We've got chunky. <laughs> so I did this one in a bulky five. And for a size comparison, let's show you my dragon because I think that they are for very similar kind of body shapes. Um, this is in a worsted weight and they do have the same leg design. You use kind of the same leg design. Um, well, this one has hooves, so a little bit different, but you know, general same. So you can see like that's a big size difference. So I am super happy with it. If you guys can't tell, I like sparkles. <laughs> now let's see if I can somehow hold up all three of these. Maybe I'll do, can I do one of these numbers? Can I have a little um, phoenix on my shoulder? That's the only thing is it's got these wings that stick out <laughs> where my head goes. Can I do it? <laughs> There we go. Now this is my picture for my thumbnail. <laughs> I am super, super happy with these. Um, I really, really loved it. And by the way, these are still posable. Um, these wings are. I like them up like this, but you can totally still, um, with the way that I did this, you can still totally curl them down if you want them to be facing down. Um, or however you want to do it. You know, they are posable, like very, very easily posable. Mm. So I am super, super happy with these. I know I've alluded to um, doing this big like feature where I wanted to do like, like a theme. And the theme was this mythical, uh, this creature's crochet creatures of myth and legend. I'm over here like just messing up the name. I've said it a bajillion times. So, of course, I got to mess it up a bunch now. Speaking of messing up things a bunch, you guys should have heard me trying to start my video yesterday 
for the Toadstool Tuesday uh, tutorial. I literally have about 30 seconds of me starting over like four times because I kept uh, jumbling up the name of the, the name of the video. It's pretty funny. Maybe I'll insert that at the end um, of this video just so you guys can have a little laugh. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little feature episode. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this kind of a video. Maybe I can do more of them in the future. Um, obviously, it takes some time. You know, I kind of have I have always have a lot of projects going. So I kind of have to work on it, you know, in the background a little bit and then do like a big reveal. Um, or I guess I could show you guys as I go and then still do a big video about it. Um, which might be a little bit more sustainable of a way of doing it. Um, but I love it. I've got my little like audience here, my unicorn, phoenix, and dragon. But the phoenix won't be staying with me as adorable as it is. I think I might have to make myself a phoenix too. Um, but the phoenix is going to be a Christmas present. And I think it's going to be a really, really loved Christmas present. It's so cute. I love the way that its head is like cocked. I don't know if the way I was holding it up really gave you guys the full effect. But when you're looking at it, like you kind of are looking at it from like a, this kind of an angle. And it just has this baby bird kind of effect to it. Like, mm, it's so cute. Anyways, guys, I won't keep you with any more of my, or any more of your time, any more of my time. Um, I will insert any like progress pictures, things I took during the process, things like that. I don't remember what all I took during the process, but any of that stuff I will insert so that you guys can kind of see the growth of it. Um, and you guys will definitely, definitely have to let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments below. But anyway about it, I highly recommend checking out this book. And she does have a new book, which I have not yet gotten my hands on, but it looks super cute. It is the Crochet Impkins book. So um, if you like Megan Lapp or Crafty Intentions, which is her uh, like Etsy and stuff like that, um, there is another book and it looks just as cute and just as like mythical and whimsical and like fantasy vibes. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. I love the way that she writes this book. If you're more interested in that, though, like I said, I'm not going to keep you with the book look side of things because I have done an in-depth book look but I am uh if you're interested in this book I highly recommend you look at my book look because she writes this book different than any other crochet book that I have and I have quite a few at this point so I totally recommend that if you are interested anyways guys I'm gonna let you go and I will see you guys tomorrow I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and say no me did you remember what this pink hat was supposed to remind you of? Get those boobies checked. Don't forget to get your mammograms. Hello and welcome back to Toadstool T Tuesday. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and this is our Toesday Tuesday. Hello and welcome back. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and today is our second segment of our Toadstool 